Last day of our trip, and we just put up the spinnaker. Uh, we're in light winds again on this hazy day. Uh, first hazy day, actually, of our trip. Um, and yeah, just hoping to give us a little bit of a boost. We would love to be in before sunset into Grenada. Um, it's probably not going to happen, so um, the closer to sunset that we can make that happen, the better. So hopefully this vinegar will help us with that. I love this life. Yes, I do. It gets even better when I'm spinning it with you. The lonely stars are all jealous, it's true. Cause they got nobody to hold like I do. Gotta work it. I love this life. How was your attendant, huh, honey? No. <laughs> what happened? I just raised it about for all the time. How your sail configurations are born. So what did you just spot, honey, out in the distance? Land ho! Unfortunately, like it's not the land that we're heading to. It's Barbados. Um, let's see if this camera is gonna pick it up, but yeah, I think you can see it on here. There it is. The little island of Barbados in the distance. Um, we are not uh, going to stay or check in at Barbados. Um, we've heard the anchorages aren't great there, but uh, it's cool to see land. And it means that once we pass Barbados, we have only about 150 miles. 150 miles to go. Oh, until we haven't we get seen to land in what, 25 days. Yeah, and we might even get some cell service as we pass by, which would be crazy. Land ho! So we are passing by um, Barbados right now. Um, it's about one o'clock in the morning and for a small little island, there's a lot of lights on. There's definitely things happening in Barbados. We are about to raise the mainsail. As the sun sets on the final day of our passage, we are now prepared for a nighttime arrival to Grenada. While arrival during daylight hours would have been ideal, we will do our best using our charts and the light of tonight's enormous and bright moon will help guide us into the anchorage. As it turns out, this last night was one of the most beautiful of our whole journey and a perfect way to end this incredible voyage. I get 
so high after these passages and I think last night because it was night and you know we were tired it was I was excited but today um, I feel it now um, it's exciting we're in we're here we made it and I just got my first glimpse of um, Bernita it's just so exciting to see boats and people and buildings and um, greenery it's it's amazing uh, it's amazing it's an amazing feeling join us next time as we begin to explore the incredible island of Grenada assess damage from the transat and begin boat repairs and slowly ease back into the cruiser life one sunny day at a time.